infamous ride to the airport, and we're going to Las Vegas. I've never been to Las Vegas. I don't know if we'll even get to Las Vegas with this bumpy road. But listen, we're going to Las Vegas. No, we're not going on a gambling resort casino thing. We're going to deliver the word of God and I can already sense that I'm gonna to have to break a lot of divination. I'm sensing that even now. So let's go forth and see what the Lord has to say about Las Vegas. Isn't there something where they say what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas? Is that, don't they call it Sin City? We're going to bring the light to the darkness and expose the sin in the hearts of the bitter prophets. That's the word of the Lord. Beware the bitter prophets. Here we go. Very troubling. Anyway, I don't know if that's a prophetic sign or what. Somebody you watching me right now, you need to open your lenses all the way up so that you can see what God has ordained for you to see. Quite, quite literally, my lens is just the shutter. See that? It's just, she doesn't care. The shutter is just halfway shut. And we are going the wrong way. Well, you need to go to the bathroom. You gotta go to the bathroom? You do. Why do you want to tell me that? You have to go to the bathroom. You, you just don't want to walk in on someone again. <laughs> Alright. Oh. <laughs> As I was saying, open your lens wide. Open your eyes. See the lens is not open all the way. here in Las Vegas and look who I found. I don't know about this place. I don't know where PV went. Yeah, people are laughing because I'm vlogging. They should really laugh once they see it. What you doing there PV? Las Vegas. See that they call this, what do they call this? About the wages. Uh, the lost, wages lost of sin no. is death. What? <laughs> lost no? wages. Lost wages. The wages of sin is death. There's a lot of sin here. It's called Sin City. Oh, Basha. Watch out for these people. Oh my goodness, look at this. Spin this. This is this, the, oh look at this, look at this. In the airport? Yeah, really? Well, you get a warm up. Stop hoofing it, and now we're taxiing. Yeah. It's much nicer. Back to Quito. Quito. No more European goodies.
reminds me of the Netherlands all over again. I don't know what she's doing, David. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. She has in the camera. <laughs> oh, I can't deal. Oh. Excuse me. I'll feel good. I'll feel good. <laughs> But it's, it's not a real snake, it's just a python spirit. I don't feel good. <laughs> Look, I fell and like I'm bleeding now. <laughs> okay. It's a hole. What happened? Oh my god. It's a hole, it burns bad. Oh my god, that's terrible. Try to hide and duck and run like this with my, with my backpack on. You know how hard that is? I was really in the Netherlands. Yes, oh, this is worse. Yeah. This is worse. I had that heavy backpack. I didn't have that in the Netherlands. It's that python spirit, Vanessa. Vanessa is running from the python spirit. No. I've tried to teach her to run from the python spirit. I've tried to teach her you cut off the head of the snake. And she wants to slither on the ground or run away from the thing, you know. I was trying to run towards you because you left me. Yes! <laughs> Flat. Well, you know, my dad always taught me, you know, if there's an alligator <laughs> if there's an alligator chasing you or a python spirit, you don't have to be the fastest runner, you just have to run you faster than Vanessa. You just walked, you just what? walked, you just mosey on along and then I have I'm to calm. Go. Huh? I'm calm. I'm not trying to draw attention to myself. Really? I am an me. expert warrier. You see the glory behind my head? Oh. Oh.